Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over um, some more information about the position versus time graph. This is kind of part two of position versus time graph. You remember, in this one, we're going to talk about what the curve or what the lines will look like if, that's, if the object is speeding up or slowing down. Again, it's just motion in one dimension. In the last video for part one, we went over the position versus time graph, and we talked about what those curves would look like if the um, motion is constant. So let's just go back and review that really quick. Here is, again, position versus time. We have motion in one dimension just moving in one dimension you can kind of think of it as moving up and down our position versus our, our position line and in all of these you'll notice that they're straight lines so they have a constant slope and remember we showed you that the slope equals the velocity so because the slope is constant and because these are straight lines then the slope is constant across each of the five intervals and therefore the velocity is constant over each of the five intervals and we did talk a little bit about how we can figure out what the slope is, and we did some calculations, but let's just kind of talk about it um, qualitatively. You can see that this line has a positive slope. That means that its velocity is positive, and that also means that it's moving in the positive direction. So slope equals velocity. The sign of the velocity tells us the direction. All right, these flat lines, which have no slope, mean that we're not moving at all, so there's no velocity. Now, let's just look at this one really quick. In this one, the slope is negative. Therefore, the velocity is negative, and therefore, the direction that we're going is in the negative direction. So, slope equals velocity, and the sign of velocity tells us the direction that we're going in. So, these are all constant slopes, and we showed you how you can calculate the slope over one of these sections. Okay, so that's kind of a review. Now let's look at one that has uh, one where the slope is not constant, where the slope is actually changing over time. And um, in this case, we will show you a couple different lines. All right, and now you'll notice on here, I, on the graph, I don't have any numbers. We're not gonna quantify anything. We're just gonna talk about it uh, qualitatively. Here's position again, here's time. We have position versus time. And once again, this is motion in one dimension. And I'm gonna draw the first curve, it looks like this. Now, one thing you wanna remember is, like I pointed out in the previous video, you're not walking up a line. All we're talking about is motion in one dimension, and this represents our position over time. And we have to remember still, that the slope of that line equals the velocity. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, the slope of this line, now we have to kind of think about it, what happens to the slope over time? And you just have to think, is it getting steeper or less steep? We wanna know, is the object speeding up or slowing down? So you can see that that line is getting steeper, and that means that the slope of that line is increasing over time. There's our time down here. Now, does this curve have a positive slope or a negative slope? Now, if we were to draw a tangent line to, along the curve right here, I don't want to draw it to make it too messy, uh, you would notice that that line has a positive slope. It's sloping up, all right? So we would say that if the slope is increasing and it's positive. Now, what does that tell us about the velocity? Okay, that means, therefore, that the velocity is increasing, and the velocity is positive, so that tells us that it's going in the positive direction. All right, so see how that works? It's basically the same thing. Slope equals velocity, the sign of the velocity tells us the direction. Okay, let's uh, just switch the color here for the other one. Now this one, I'm gonna draw Decrease going like this, so it's curving down or sloping down like this. And now we want to ask ourselves the same question. What's happening to the slope of this line as we travel along in time, as we go down, as we move across the time, what happens to the slope of that line? Just like this one was increasing, you should kind of see that it's steeper here and it's kind of flattening out. And if we were to kind of draw this out, you'd notice that it's basically getting flat, which means we have no slope and no velocity. So in this case, the slope is decreasing. Now the question is, is it positive or negative? Well, if we were to draw our tangent line that went right along here and touched that curve in one point, you would notice that that slope is negative. 
Remember the blue one has a positive slope, the green one has a negative slope. So we're, our slope is decreasing and uh, we are we have a negative velocity. Now what is that, excuse me, a negative slope? What does that tell us about our velocity? So once again, that tells us that our velocity is decreasing and we would call that slowing down. Okay, this one we would say speeding up and this one is slowing down and it is negative, right? The slope is negative, so the direction is going to be negative. And you can kind of see that. If we start out here, over time, we're coming back towards zero and that's our negative direction. Okay, so that's the first two. Now let's look at the next two. Once again, we have the same idea. We have position on this axis. We can put a P over here in meters if we wanted to. We have time on this axis over here, and that's in seconds. And once again, the slope on the position versus time graph equals the velocity. Okay, so let's see what our color. All right, let's go with this one. Okay, now in this case, we have a curve that we could draw that looks like this. And we draw it like this, and we want to ask ourselves what's happening to the slope of that line over time. Now you can kind of see it's really steep here, and it's kind of flattening out, and eventually it would go flat and go like that. All right. Now we can say, therefore, that the slope of that line is decreasing, and if we draw a tangent line just along that curve like that, we can say that the slope of that curve is positive. What does that tell us about the velocity? Well, the velocity is decreasing, and the velocity is positive, so therefore the direction that we're going is also positive. All right, so that would look like that. Okay, now we can draw the other half of this curve. And in this case, you can see that, um, well, I'll draw the other half and it would look like this. It's the fourth curve. There's really only four of these that we can have. And this one we can just draw as a continuation from this one right here. And you can see that it would look something like this. See if I can draw it nice and smooth. It would look like something like that. Okay, now here's for the orange curve. The orange curve, now we want to ask ourselves, what is, what's happening to the slope of that curve over time? So you can see it's flat, basically up here, right? This one ended flat. This one's starting out flat, and then it's getting steeper. So that means that the speed, excuse me, the slope of that line is increasing. And now we want to ask ourselves, is it positive or negative? Well, this one was positive. Here's our tangent line. This one would have a tangent line that would look something like this, and that would be negative. So the slope is increasing, but it's increasing in a kind of with a negative slope. Now that, what does that tell us about our velocity? In this case, the velocity, therefore, is going to be increasing. So we would call that speeding up. All right, so this velocity is increasing. And then which direction are we going? Well, the direction is the sign of the velocity. And since this has a negative slope, therefore, it would have a negative velocity. And that means we're moving in a negative direction. Okay, so that's the two other cases that you can have. Now we can just look, let's just kind of think about what happens over this entire curve. All right, so we start out at this position at this time, and over time, our speed is slowing down, but we're going away from zero, so it's pop, we're going in the positive direction. Then up here, basically, we have no velocity for some period of time, and then we come back in the other direction, and we're increasing our speed, but we're going in the negative direction. So what is an object that actually does that? Well, it has a... Uh, high velocity, high speed, slows down, and then comes back in the other direction. And you could just think of somebody throwing a baseball. When you throw a baseball up in the air, right, it has a high velocity when it releases from your hand, it moves away from you, it stops, and then it comes back down and it increases its velocity. But you have to remember that's really only velocity in one dimension. It's going up and coming back down, and because it kind of gets drawn out, so to speak, with time, that's what the curve would look like of an object that's thrown straight up in the air. Okay? So that's